presents a class of Catskills as we take a history, a walking tour of Sullivan County. I'm Barry Lewis and with me as always is Sullivan County historian and noted author John Conway. Good to be here, Barry. John, we left off at Loomis. We say we're going to talk about the resorts, the golden age of hotels, or at least the beginning of it. And I'm guessing people would have thought we would be standing right behind Grossinger's or maybe the Concord, the most famous of the resorts. But we're not. We're standing in what was the famed Flagler Hotel. Right. Eventually we will get to Grossinger's in the Concord, I'm sure. But the Flagler's where it all started, Barry. I don't mean it was the first hotel, but it was really a pioneering hotel. The Flagler dates back to the 1870s when it was really just a boarding house uh, built really to cater to the uh, businessmen who were doing business with the tannery. And not a, and not a kosher hotel, not a Jewish hotel not at, at all. first. Not at all. The name Flagler, people associate that, folks who have been to Florida know of Flagler. Exactly. How does that play in with this hotel? Well, in kind of a roundabout way, but in an, in an interesting way. Uh, when Fleischer and Morgenstern bought this hotel, it was about a 35-room boarding house. And they began to expand it almost immediately. And this was part of that initial influx of Jewish immigrants into the area. Uh, one of the things that they noticed right off the bat was that a lot of the guests believed incorrectly that it had some connection to Henry Morrison Flagler who had created Standard Oil with John D. Rockefeller who had built uh, the hotels in Florida and they, they didn't want to dissuade them from that notion and that's really where the story takes an interesting turn. When they built their new building in 1920, the main building that stood right here, uh, they built it in, in an architectural style that was reminiscent of what Flagler would have built in Florida. And that's where the Catskill Mission or Sullivan County Mission style architecture really got its start. And that's why I say it all started right here at the Flagler, because this was the most prominent resort. Everyone soon began to copy that architectural style. And it is the first year-round Catskill Resort. That's correct. The original Flagler House, by the way, was down in the back of this main building. This was built in the 20s. And as you can see, this is the beginning of Sullivan County Mission architecture. The Palladian windows, the stucco finish, these archways here, and the famous uh, Sullivan County facade and the parapet in the middle with the name of the hotel. Soon every hotel in Sullivan County was copying that. And you can see where you got the driveway here. And boy, if, if a tree could talk, there it is in the picture. That's right. There it is there. Perfect. The turn coming into the driveway, the, the beginning really of the, circular, of the circular driveway. That's it, exactly. John, we both have a little bit of a connection to this hotel. What's yours? Well, my mom's very first job was as a chambermaid here at the Flagler when she was 16 years old, Barry, so that would have been uh, in the late 1930s, 1939. And mine, my father, 1967, he's the MC here. We stayed for one year. My quick story, to have the circular driveway, I'm trying to get out of it. My foot hits the shift in the car, and we start doing a domino effect coming down. But enough about us. To the hotel. This is really the first hotel that publicizes itself as year-round. It was year-round, Barry, and that was uh, certainly distinctive back at that time period. Winter activities included a very elaborate toboggan run, uh, which they built a, a wood platform. You started up very high off the ground, and you ran the toboggan down. If you went far enough, you could actually go out onto the Neversink River, and sometimes the river wasn't frozen, so they had a few accidents that way. They skiing here as well, too. Cross-country skiing. Of course, at that time, they didn't differentiate between Alpine and Nordic skiing, but it was skiing. Uh, and, a, and a lot of indoor activities. Uh, dancing became popular, and of course, everybody had a Latin orchestra eventually. What happens, John? It survives into the 70s, and then, of course, the entire Borscht Belt era has come to an end. And uh, believe it or not, the Italians move in. They buy it, it becomes the Fountains of Rome, one of several hotels that change hands in the hopes that casino gambling will save the Catskills. John, this has been great. We're going to stay on Route 42 as we come back again on Classic Catskills, the history of Sullivan County. As we take a look at Route 42, sort of a miracle mile of hotels along this stretch. For John Conway, I'm Barry Lewis. Can men glickler sein? Die Luft ist frei, war jetzt gleich. Die sind sich 
shine for you there I would have all the right 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 I've been so afraid I've been so laughing the bull made friend schnapsel machen a big is in can man click love Einer meint, das ganze Glück hängt nur auf auf Geld. Soll alle sichern, soll alle kriechen, nur ich trach bei sich. Ich darf du's auf Kapuris, weil du's Glück steh.